Hello, you are currently viewing a vintage carousel 650 that Kodak made in probably the 1960s. This is available currently on eBay uh, for sale. It, the purpose of this video is to show you what we have in the listing on eBay and also to demonstrate that the equipment does in fact work. What we have here is the original box, um, and then we have the projector base. This is a slide projector base, and it does not have a carousel. It just is exactly what you see here. There is a power cord that comes with it. It's generally tucked in the bottom, and I'll show you where that is. And there is also the wired remote control. So now you notice here there are three lenses off to the side. I actually took those out of the bottom of this projector because they do fit in there loosely and I felt it best that if I'm going to ship this, I'm going to wrap those in tissue and make sure that they are shipped uh, not in uh, installed necessarily because I was afraid that they would ship. Now the one thing I do notice with these uh, the ones that I've seen on eBay and on YouTube, when they pull the lenses out, they're dirty. And these, this one is actually a tented lens. But these lenses are, in, are not really dirty at all. In fact, I found that this particular projector was very clean. Um, and it appears to have been stored uh, for many years in the original box with lots of padding. Now, this particular lens has some chips along the side. I don't know that that would really affect um, the performance of this lens. I tend to doubt it, but you know it is something that I wanted to disclose up front. Okay, the important thing about this projector is that it can power on and that it has, you know, um, the fan. So I'm going to turn on the fan with this. That is the uh, fan humming in the background and this is the back of the machine, by the way. And then I'm going to just turn on the light. So the lamp actually works very well. Um, there is one bulb inside of the compartment in the bottom of the unit. Um, no spare bulbs that I could see, but the you know those lamps I understand are, are pretty hard to find, if at all. Now the other important part is this wired remote. It has the forward and it has the reverse and you wanted to make sure that's the forward and here's the reverse. Now there's also a way to manually do that on the side. Let me make sure it gets there's the reverse there. Okay, and there's a lot of other buttons uh, that I'm not really sure exactly how every one of them functions. I found that there are some really good YouTube instructional videos out there of people that own these. I'm just demonstrating that the parts and pieces work. So I'm going to turn it off now and we're going to take out the remote plug and the power plug and you can see they're proprietary to this particular machine. It's a very long power cord. I didn't measure it but it's, it's quite lengthy. And I am going to put it off to the side and I want to turn this over for you to see. Uh, let's see, this is the bottom. And let's make sure we're still in view. This is where the power cord is uh, folded up and put inside. And then over here is where you turn this knob and there is the lamp right there and this is also where the three lenses sit uh, next to each other on end so that's all intact this here is a leveler so that you can get it level and this is the handle that pulls up and down this is how you control the leveler all right and then of course the lens uh, doesn't look dirty. Like I said, I think this has probably been lightly used and stored for many, many years. Uh, and now they're 
they're willing to part with it and it seems to be in very good condition. It's a really nice vintage piece.